I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members for your continued support. Thank you. And consider joining today for added perks and exclusive content. Hello and welcome, I'm Berta Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Skids and I love this toy. Originally released in 1985, the version that I have here is the commemorative series version that was released in July of 2004 and I absolutely love this little vehicle mode that they have here for Skids. So Skids is based on a vehicle we're not very familiar here with in uh, North America. It was based on the Honda City R, uh, which was uh, very widely popular in Asia and in some European countries. There's a couple of versions of the vehicle, but the one that was specifically, uh, this, this one was specifically based on, was a version that came with the Moto Compo, which was a little scooter. Uh, that would actually store in the back of the vehicle here. And the Diaclone version of this toy, the original pre-Hasbro, pre-Transformers version, actually came with a little scooter. So you could actually open up the rear hatch and put the little scooter back there, which is just so, so cool. But yeah, the, the, the car in real life also came with a scooter included, which is just so amazing. So the vehicle mode here is approximately three and a half inches long, about one and a half inches tall. Comes included with three of these missiles that you see right here. A missile launcher, and unfortunately, because this is the commemorative version, this one does not have the springs, it does not launch, it does not shoot. Uh, so maybe I'll get a, an actual original G1 version uh, for this one so I can have an actual shooting mechanism. And he did come with two handguns. I have one out because I display him with a, miss, with a missile launcher and I display him with one of the handguns. My other handgun is in his box, and if you remember from my Perceptor video, I don't know where my G1 boxes are, so I don't know. But anyway, there, there's the vehicle mode. Absolutely, he, you know, he's got the rubber tires. He rolls really, really nice and very nicely detailed in blue paint all the way around. You got that red stripe there on the side with turbo. On around the back, you got an Autobot logo. You got a license plate. You got tail light details and stickers. You got bumper details and stickers right there. And then coming around to the side, all the way to the front, you got another Autobot logo right there on the hood and another license plate and turn signal details there all in stickers. Of course, you got yourself your rub symbol up here at the top. And if you rub on that, you can see that we have a genuine official transformer right there. Very cool. I love this little car mode. I just absolutely adore this little car mode. It's so 80s. It really does remind me of cars that I used to see on the street back in my childhood <laughs> Um, a couple of uh, quick comparisons. Here he is, just because he's he's uh, here on the desk with me. Here he is with G1 smoke screen, so you can see what these guys look like together. And here he is with Optimus Prime, so you can see what the two of them look like together. And here is G1 Skids being launched out of G1 Optimus Prime's trailer, which unfortunately for this one doesn't work so well just because of his shape when he launches out the bumper this one doesn't roll off the right very well and the bumper tends to, or rather that front plate right there tends to catch on the table maybe if i had a smooth table i didn't have this grippy surface he would yeah see he doesn't do it so great if you use other cars like smoke screen here for example actually tent usually rolls out pretty nicely of course i say that and i screw it up let's try that again yeah, see, he actually rolls out the way he's supposed to. Skids, not so much, but still, oh, wow, that worked. Okay, cool. Uh, but still, a very fun thing to do with G1 figures. Getting into transformation, very simple, very G1. This is uh, a lot along the lines of like small screen or your Dotson Brothers and your Jazz, that kind of a thing. So we're going to start by separating the, actually start by opening the doors up. I do want to show you something here. And then we're going to separate the whole front of the car from the rear of the car. And if you had the Microman version or the Diaclone version, you could put your little driver right there. You got the little seat right there, which is really, really neat. So we open those doors up. Right here are the arms. You can bring the arms straight down, just like that. And there's something interesting that I want to show you about the transformation on this guy. Uh, go ahead and bring the whole legs, the whole, uh, I guess this is the middle body right here in the center. Bring this whole thing down just like that. That's going to soft click into place. Bring the legs down and then we're going to separate the legs at the hips right there. Doors are open. The roof of the vehicle just flaps back like that. 
And then this is neat. I really do like this. The hood opens towards the front and you'll be able to get the head out, flip it around, close that hood back up. And I'm not quite going to say that we're there yet. You'll see why in a moment. Oh, the wheels. I almost forgot the wheels. The wheels actually flip in, which I love. Absolutely love that those wheels flip in like that. All right. So according to the instructions, the American instructions, the Transformers instructions, that's skid, skids in robot mode. And uh, this is the same for the G1 version as well as the commemorative version. They both have you transform him exactly like that, which looks just completely uh, disproportionate and it looks pretty terrible. Um, if you go by the original Diaclone instructions, they actually, and the, also the artwork on the box, they actually have you bring the arm up and rotate the wheel and then bring the arms down, straighten out the fist, which I think just looks so much better. And I think it's the way that it was intended to be transformed and Hansberg just kind of missed it. Uh, when they did the instructions for the G1 version. So now I'm going to say that there is G1 skids in his robot mode. And in this robot mode, he stands approximately five inches tall. Looking very nice. Um, really like the looks of skids. Um, he looks very, you know, I, I like him well enough because he does look like your, uh, a lot of these Autobot cars that I didn't have as a kid, like the Autobot, like the, uh, the Dotson brothers and jazz and whatnot. I didn't have a lot of those as kid as a kid and I always wanted them. And so his transformation is very similar to those guys. And that's why I like them. Um, so yeah, you got the, uh, the head right there and then you've got the vehicles, uh, grill there for the chest going down to the arms, all done in blue. You got a red torso, black legs with some silver and yellow and red details. there, all done in stickers going all the way down to, his blue shins and his red feet like it like it a lot i really do like this going all the way around so you can see again you know the back you can do the i keep closing his legs you can do the wing doors if you want to do that you can do that if that looks better to you you can do that or you can kind of keep them back that's completely up to you articulation wise the head can move up and down a little bit no side to side there the arms can go forward and back you can <laughs> you can pop the figure in half uh, because it's on camera and you're just going to do things wrong. Wow. I'm not editing that out. I'm leaving it in. All right. You can rotate the arms forward and backwards all the way around and you can swing the arms outwards. You can also rotate the wrists and that is about it for articulation. Oh my God. That's freaking hysterical. I always do this crap when it's on camera. <laughs> Let's give him a couple of his weapons. <laughs> so the weapons, he doesn't have any uh, any holes in his fist. There's no pegs to his weapons. All of his weapons are just going to peg right there um, to the side of the... Oh, I can't get over that. I'm going to give him his handgun over here on the right. And I like that because it, it's almost like a wrist-mounted gun, which I really dig. Um, can we go to this side? Yeah, it's a little too tight. Let's go to the side here. So yeah, I dig that. It's kind of like a wrist mounted gun, which is really neat. I like that. And then of course you can also do the same thing over here with this missile launcher. <laughs> so there you go. There's kids in robot mode now with all of his weapons and ready for combat. Let's get him standing nice and straight. Another couple of comparisons real quick. Here's one more time with smoke screen and surprisingly a lot taller than smoke screen. Look at that. Just a whole head taller than smoke screen, which is so cool. I love the way that that compares. Uh, such a little tiny car actually grows, uh, does quite a bit of growing uh, when it gets to the robot mode. And then uh, for another quick comparison, there he is with G1 Optimus Prime. So you can see what the two of these guys look like together. And just because I happened to get them after I shot the uh, video originally, here is G1 skids next to the current legacy skid. So you can see how these guys stack up together and absolutely love what they're doing with the legacy line. Uh, you'll see more about this in his own video. That'll be coming soon. But uh, yeah, they did a really, really great job of taking this figure and just updating it. And you can just kind of see going all the way around. They did, in fact, take all of the cues from that original figure. And they basically just took that G1 figure and uh, modernized it which is really, really neat.
and a Genji One Skids with Legacy Skids in vehicle mode. So you can see the two of them again, how they compare. And yeah, the Legacy did a pretty good job of uh, simulating. Um, not exactly back to the uh, Honda City, um, probably for licensing reasons. But, you know, it's a really, really good facsimile of the vehicle. So you can see the two of them and how they look together in vehicle mode. If you're in the G1s, definitely a figure to get. Uh, if you're a completionist or if you're in the G1 figures, you know, Skids was just kind of one of those lesser known background characters. And for so for whatever reason, uh, the toy tends to have kind of that reputation of he wasn't that great. And I don't get that. I don't get that because his design is so similar to the Dotson brothers and the Jazz and all those guys. Um, and he actually does a couple more things than those guys did. So I don't get why this guy kind of gets that reputation of, of he's not so great. Uh, maybe because his elbows don't bend. He doesn't have elbow articulation like the other guys. I don't know. Uh, but I really, really dig him. I think he's a cool character, uh, and, or rather, a cool figure. He didn't really have much of a character to speak of. But there you go. That, is, I think, is going to do it for Transformers Generation 1 Skids. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I've got a donate button up there. I also now offer channel memberships. If you're so inclined to do either one of those, I would greatly appreciate it. Please share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.